क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन व्हाट डू मीन बाय द नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन एंड इट्स मैकेनिज्म वी हैव आल्सो सीन द वेरियस नॉन डाइमेंशनल नंबर ऑफ द सेम नाउ लेट अस लुक एट वेरियस कोर इनशिप व्हिच आर एप्लीकेबल इन केस ऑफ फ्री कन्वेक्शंस The first thing that we need to understand is correlationship. Now, these are nothing but the relationship between various variables which are essential for the analysis. Now, these correlationship are nothing but the product of various experiments. So, person conducts a lot of experiments. Now, these experiments will in turn give us those correlationship. Now, these correlationship they are always they are bind under a range. so for various parameters the range has to be decided and for that range itself the correlationship will be valid now let us look at various correlationship which are applicable to the natural convection now in this case they have given us the value of rayleigh's number now nusel number can be written as 0.82 plus 0.38 ra raised to that is rayleigh's number is to 1 by 6 upon 1 plus 0.429 upon prandtl number Rest to nine by sixteen, rest to eight by twelve. Now this entire the whole square. Now this correlationship is given for a natural convection heat transfer from the isothermal vertical plate. So first thing that we need to understand is the plate is a vertical plate and it is isothermal. Now these are the these looks quite complex, but try and understand that this relationship will be given in the problem statement itself. Now here I have listed few of the important non dimensionless collection or various correlationship again these correlationship need to be understood not remember because in most of the cases they will be given to us in the problem but we need to know that they are only valid for a given range now let us start with the vertical plate and vertical cylinder so the nusel number is given as 0.59 gr into pr that is the grashof's number into the prandtl number is to 1 by 4 and this is given for the condition when the rayleigh's number or the product of grashof's and prandtl number is between 10s to 4 and 10s to 9 similarly if it is between 10s to 9 and 10s to 12 then the nusel number is given by something like this that is 0.13 into rayleigh's number s to 1 by 3 now in this case my characteristic length to find the grashof number at the end we need to write down l cube so that l stands for the characteristic length now in this in case of vertical plate my characteristic length is nothing but the vertical length of the plate or cylinder similarly for the horizontal plate when the face is up the nusel number is given as 0.54 into rayleigh's number raised to 1 by 4 now this is applicable for 10 raised to 5 and 10 raised to 7 and if it is between 10 to 7 and 10 to 10 Then the Nusel number is given as 0.15 into Rayleigh's number or GR into PR raised to 1 by 3. In this case, the characteristic length is given by area upon parameter, that is A by P. For the sphere, the relationship is given something like this: that is Nusel number is 2 plus 0.43 GR into PR, that is Rayleigh's number raised to 1 by 4. Now this is only applicable for this condition when the Rayleigh number stays between one and ten is to five. Characteristic length in this case is diameter d of the sphere. Similarly, in the fourth and last case, when we consider a square or a circular plate facing up, the Nusel number is given as 0.54 Rayleigh number is to one by four. When the condition is the Rayleigh number is between ten is to five and ten is to seven. Similarly, if the Rayleigh number is between 10 to 7 and 10 to 10, then the Nusel number is given something like this. That is 0.15 Rayleigh number is to 1 by 3. In this case also, my characteristic length is given as A upon T. Again, let us understand what do we mean by correlationship. They are nothing but the product of various experiments that people have performed, and they are always a range bound. So they are always given for a various conditions. Then. in case of natural convection with the help of those correlationship we are going to find out the nusel number the nusel number itself is given as 
h l upon k once i can find the nusel number i can find the value of h then we know that q dash is given by h a delta t so once i get the value of h that is the heat transfer coefficient we can find the value of q dash that is the rate of heat transfer now this is the process literally everywhere so we need to find out the nusel number and for that case we need to know various coherence shift in this topic we try to understand various coherence shift for various shapes of a body thank you for watching this video please stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda thank you